and around goes a couple guards. Priest upside down. He's barrel rolling through the grass. Ryan Priest upside down in the infield. Lifted that car, but it was just traveling so fast. Right it happened there. right when it got in the grass. As soon as it got in the grass, that's when it started to lift. And then this is just violent. I mean, look at this car. That is just amazing that something that weighs over 3,500 pounds get in the air like that. It looks like a toy car flying through the air. But as you mentioned, Jeff, 3,500 pounds. Such a violent accident for Ryan Priest. Thankfully lands on the wheels. To the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air goes up. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth, and comes to rest. Blaney tried the top side, tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around, and the car goes to its roof, and here's the on-rushing Corey LaJoy picking it up and over. gets kind of stuck in the middle there and gets comes across the force bumper as he does he spins back in gets the three airborne and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence Still three guys spin here come through here come through here off the down oh god trouble this is gonna hurt uh -oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down there. That's why he was so concerned, because he touched Rusty Wallace to start this situation, it looks like. And the car overturns about six or seven times, pirouetting on its nose, end over end, side over side, comes to a rest on its wheels. There was some talk of whether the team, whether the team could switch points. Whoa, whoa, guys, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh, my gosh. I have never seen anything like that in my life. He hit that wall a ton. Oh my gosh.
on his roof. Now the car tumbling hard onto the pavement in turn three. Caution is out. A terrible crash. It's contact. He comes down trying to get in front of Kurt Busch. They make contact. Watch that thing fly. And there that it lands on that road you talked about. And then when it gets onto the racetrack again, takes another nasty flip. Watch this hit. Oh, that's the hard one right here. Oh, man. Oh, they all look pretty hard. Yeah, they do. I don't want to be in there in any of them. Man. And like I said, that car really held up well. Look out! Is that is Edwards going? Oh, is that no. it turns it? No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. He already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. And you get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. You know, and, and looking very carefully at the catch fencing that held, and I did not see any debris go into the grandstand, uh, and that certainly is unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Uh, That's comes. Austin Hill oh, in the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution. Because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Whew, it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen. So he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. Wow. I mean, I mean look at that Gosh. car. And look at the grass that's I mean, where's, flying in front where's of Where's the engine? Oh, wow. <laughs> the wow. engine's gone. I mean, th this kind of like a, a Michael Walter prank that we saw at Bristol where it's just, or the Jeffrey Bodine, right? Kyle Larson front straightaway here at Daytona years ago. 